options to choose from and it can feel kind of impossible to know which one is the right one for you. So thankfully Helix has their sleep quiz that will tell you exactly which mattress will make you the most comfortable. It'll ask about your age, height, weight, positions you sleep in, firmness you prefer, and take all that into account. concerned? I will be too, of course, but I don't have quite the same magic touch as Wilbert here. You see, he's a cancer moon. <laughs> he can't be that. Wilbert and I will begin with a few routine diagnostic questions to start narrowing down the potential diagnoses for you here today, okay? Um, he is most comfortable when he is nestled in greenery. Would it be all right with you if he weaseled his way into some uh, plant of some sort? Oh, this is good. Okay, thank you. He says it's perfect, and thank you so much. Hmm. Here I thought I was looking all medical and professional-like. Now that I get a good look at it, it kind of just looks like I'm wearing a karate uniform. Hmm. <laughs> well, not to worry. I assure you, I am here as a medical advisor, not an adversary. Anyway, my questions we've got for you. Mm. 
Alright. Our first question. If you were a mermaid, what color would your tail be? Mmm, that's an excellent choice. Definitely your color. And then, how many times a week do you eat graham crackers? Hmm, it's passable. What are your pet peeves? Oh, I feel exactly the same way. When people leave their carts out in the parking lot all willy-nilly, I do a rude gesture at them. No, no. <laughs> this one. Hmm. Really cuts them deep. Use it sparingly, alright? Then, would your clown name be Pickles, Patches, or Pumpkin? Mm-hmm. Yes, that suits you nicely. Uh, and then, uh, how regularly do you hula hoop? Oh dear, we've got to get those numbers up. Would you like to join my hooping meetup group? It's every other Thursday in Everfield Park from 3 to 4 a.m. Which any hooper worth her salt knows is prime hooping time. You see, it's an elite sport that requires such a laser precise focus. That's the only time the world is anywhere near quiet enough for you to reach your full potential. So much as a sneeze is all it takes to knock you off your game. And then before you know it, the championship hat has slipped from betwixt your buttery fingers for the 18th time in a row. All right, thank you for taking the time to answer our diagnostic questions. Now we can move on to the physical examination. You'll have to allow me a moment to unearth my tools. this morning. How peculiar. That is the exact temperature of my favorite volcano. Small world. Well, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Maybe something was a mess. Oh, my God. oh. <laughs> uh, there was just a little thread on the screen. It's actually 98.4, which is perfect. You couldn't have a better temperature if you tried, so don't even try. Uh, now it's time to listen to your heart. I can hear your heart loud and clear. Yes. 
uh, don't you worry, little blood thumper. That can be arranged. Next, I'm uh, going to check the old eyeballs out by asking you to identify each of the following images as quickly as you possibly can. Got it? Here we go. There's the first one. Good. Good. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Good. 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 Very good. Beautiful. It's perfect. Yes. Good. Wow, we you've got some impressive sight. You know. You could be a competitive bird watcher if you really put your mind to it. And I don't say that lightly when it comes to bird watching. Most who think they're up to snuff are anything but. So, uh, can Wilbert and I give your hair an examination? Thank you. Alright, old man, let's get to work. So, I'm going to take. Looks like 99% of it is an ordinarily luxurious mane. like that was the last of all. Thank you. Just deal with this. Now, next step of the physical exam. 
examination is going to be to inspect, inspect your face. Would it be alright with you if I use my little sponge pads and just kind of like check everything out like this? Get a good look at your pearly whites, but you have to promise not to bite me, okay? Pinky promise. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Hang on to that. Keep it tucked in your pocket just in case you ever get the wind knocked out of you. you just like, <laughs> Testing the spook reflex.
smell this candle. Get a good whiff. Nice. And then this one. is the objectively superior candle, so that means your olfactory system is working perfectly. Let's see here, what is next? What's next? Oh, yes. Let's uh, check your hearing here. Please. You know, you do actually seem to be struggling a bit with your hearing. So, let's go ahead and get a good look in there. I'm gonna fire up a few of these bad boys. So I can really see what's going on. I do have to be careful though. Last time I got a little overzealous and lit so took my place for LAX and landed in my yard right on the petunias. will mess you right up, but don't you worry. I am totally equipped to eradicate them right now. You just hang out a minute here and allow me to carefully clear out. Just keep on building up. <laughs> 
like that was the last of them. How are you feeling now? Perfect. Well, thank you so much for entrusting me with your medical care today. Please don't hesitate to recommend my services to all of your friends and foes. And um, have a wonderful rest of your evening. Until next time. What's that? Bye-bye. See you next time.